call me Yonde. I have had many names. Sauron lives because of you! The Rings of Power deviates from its source material, particularly regarding Sauron's corruption of the rings. The series shows Sauron infusing his evil influence into the Seven Rings for Dwarfs, but never physically touched the Elves' Three Rings. Galadriel and Certain believe the Elven Rings are safe, but Elrond doubts this. This deviation creates a potential plot hole in the story. Sauron touching the Rings of Power creates a plot hole in Amazon's show. In J.R.R. Tolkien's Second Age timeline, Sauron assisted Celebrimbor in making the Rings for Men and Dwarfs, while pretending to be Anator. However, once Sauron left a region, Celebrimbor made the Three Rings for the Elves by himself. Though Tolkien doesn't spell out Sauron's goals in great detail, he does imply that Celebrimbor forged the Elves' Rings and that Sauron didn't include them in his original plan. It was crystal clear from Tolkien's description why the Rings of Men and Dwarves had become corrupted, while the Rings of the Elves remained mostly unharmed. While Sauron oversaw the former's forging, he was completely unaware of the latter. The fact that Celebrimbor used what he had learned from Anator to create elven rings that could be controlled by the One Ring is the sole explanation for this. Because Sauron was actually there when the three rings that the elves made were being created, there is a plot hole in the Rings of Power. While Celebrimbor and Sauron plotted in season one of the Rings of Power, Sauron stood right there touching the mithril chunk that would eventually be melted. It is puzzling that the three were somehow protected from Sauron's intervention, given that he had ample opportunity to corrupt the elves' rings in the rings of power, while he had zero such chances in the books. How to resolve the rings of power's Sauron and the rings plot hole? We can resolve the discrepancy by considering two hypotheses that are somewhat credible. To begin, in order to corrupt a ring of power in the Lord of the Rings, Sauron might have to be physically present during the last phases of forging. Maybe it wasn't enough to pretend to be Halbrand and assist Celebrimbor in deciphering the formula, handling the mithril, and directing the procedure. One may even say that Galadriel discovered Sauron's identity before the last forging, thus he couldn't complete inflicting his evil on the elves' rings. In Season 2 of the Rings of Power, Sauron can avoid making the same mistake with the dwarf and man batches by impersonating Anator. The preceding explanation makes sense, but it's an inductive assumption that Sauron couldn't finish his spells before Galadriel kicked him out of a region. The answer is even more complicated than Tolkien's story creation process. The lovely simplicity of the book's solution was that Sauron could not corrupt rings that he was unaware were being produced. Sauron was aware of the elves' ring-making process and watched it closely, yet he somehow refrained from corrupting them, as shown in the Rings of Power. Another way around it is that Galadriel and Certain are all mistaken, and according to the canon of the Rings of Power, the elves' rings are just as corrupt as the Seven and the Nine. This would be a huge departure from the canonical account of the Lord of the Rings, which portrays the three as being less malevolent than the other rings that Celebrimbor created during the Second Age. However, it would work much better in the setting of the TV show if Sauron tarnished the elves' rings. Season 1 of the Rings of Power backed itself into a corner when it introduced Sauron's Halbrand character and had him forge the rings for the elves. Given that the elves' rings wouldn't have protected them from Sauron's poison, the only way out of that position is to accept them. Despite the fact that it may necessitate yet another significant revision to the source material, implementing that notion would significantly smooth out the continuity of the rings of power.